As 150 people prepare to leap into Baltimore's harbor, a report shows the water isn't in great shape. WMR2 News' Jeff Morgan spoke with the Waterfront Partnership, who says the report doesn't make them question their decision. For a while, getting into Baltimore's harbor was dangerous. The water was polluted with sewage and trash. Then, Waterfront Partnership started working on creating a swimmable harbor in 2010. Well, a lot has changed in the Baltimore Harbor over the last 14 years. There have been innovative new technologies uh, like Mr. Trash Wheel, removing over a million pounds of trash and debris from the Baltimore Harbor every single year. The Waterfront Partnership tests the harbor five days a week, checking the levels of fecal indicator bacteria. So that is bacteria that tells us whether or not there's likely to be anything in the harbor that might make people ill. And there is a threshold established by the uh, EPA. And if our bacteria results are below that threshold, it is considered low risk for recreation. Recent testing from Blue Water Baltimore gave the harbor an F grade. Though scores improved, an F means an unhealthy harbor. So why jump in? Uh, that does not concern me because the letter grade assigned by Blue Water Baltimore does not factor in bacteria levels, which are the most important indicator for swimming safety. When people jump into Baltimore's harbor this Sunday, it isn't the end of Waterfront Partnership's efforts. Harbor Splash is not a victory lap, but it is a celebration of the progress that has been made and a recognition that we've reached a tipping point where now with routine water quality monitoring, we can use the harbor for recreation. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.